Greetings all. It's the devious monkey here. Guess where I am? Huh? All right, so we're back on the boardwalk. I came down here yesterday, but then I took a phone call that I was on for an hour and a half, and I didn't get to film anything that I wanted to film. So, now that I'm done with my day job work calls today, I thought I would come to the boardwalk whilst I had time and do a little bit more testing, so to speak. I am outside. It is a perfectly gorgeous sunny day. We've got the ocean oceaning and people are down here enjoying themselves. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. Let's see what I'm at. So the usual shutter priority, which is pretty much what I'm always going to be in when I'm doing this with the ZV-1. 150th, again, what I'm pretty much always going to be with. And because I'm in shutter priority, everything else is taken care of by the camera. So it's sort of jumping around, but right now I'm at f5.6 and the ISO is at 125. Auto white balance, constant autofocus. I do have the ND filter on because it's bright as fuck down here. So that's that, that's what you get to see. Don't know if you're aware of what color sand is or the ocean or all the pretty little umbrellas and the people down here enjoying themselves. Planes flying overhead, flags flying, all the colorful hotels. But yeah, so there's a lot going on down here. Lots of flowers, landscaping, dogs peeing. You get the idea. So how does it look? I did get good feedback on my videos since I've been using the ZV-1 and it is actually very nice. I forgot how nice it was that the audio straight out of camera with the dead cat on is just so awesome. It sounds perfect. It's not too loud. It's not too low. I sound like I sound, I think. Very clear. It cuts out all the wind noise, which should be doing right now. There is a constant breeze down here right now. I wouldn't say that it's windy, but it's a nice cool breeze. So good to go there. Now I did on the last video have a request to do more videos like I did where I went through my fake s Cinetone settings and all that kind of stuff and they wanted me to use other picture profiles so on and so forth however you all know that I'm lazy and the whole reason that I'm doing things like the fake s Cinetone or when I was just using standard out of the camera is because I don't color grade too lazy for that shit I got enough stuff to do that I'm not gonna take the time to color grade. That's why I'm using fake S Cinetone. While I can appreciate that you want me to try new things and put up all my settings, that ain't happening. Definitely not color grading. It's enough with that MKE 200 that I started playing with audio. Audio is one thing, especially because it's just a quick drag and drop. I don't have to do all kinds of crazy shit. And the only reason I had to do drag and drop fix was when I was in studio and I've made the determination that I'm not going to be using that camera, uh, that microphone in studio. I'll continue to use the Cinerig setup, which is set up for the Movo VXR10, which I already know sounds great in studio. Remember, the name of the game in all this and everything that I do is having a kit put together for whichever function that I'm doing that day, meaning photography, I'm going to have the a7R4 set up with whichever lens gives me what I need it to do in the easiest setup possible. Now, I mean the a7R4 is the a7R4, it's a still camera, I have the camera, I have the grip, I put a lens on, I take pictures. I don't need anything other than that. Never going to do film, probably not going to put an ND filter on anything because I don't need it, I can control everything through the camera settings to get the pictures that I need to take. Done. A7C, yeah, a little bit different. I would like a little bit lighter of a lens, which is why I'm thinking about that 20 millimeter f1.8, but we all know that's not happening anytime soon because I got shit to pay for. But for the most part, I have it all set up, waiting on the Mantis pod to test that out and go from there. How you doing? Hi and we'll kind of go from there. Otherwise, 
it's pretty much set up in the cage. It'll have some form of a tripod-y type thing, and I'll be using the MKE 200 unless I'm in studio and it's set up on the Cinerig getup to do my in-studio stuff. So the only other change there will be that it will have the Movo VXR10 on it. And then we have, obviously, the Insta360, which I use more. I haven't touched my GoPro in a long time just because it's a pain in the ass and I prefer the Insta360 over it. So I've been using that and I like to actually put on the Rode Wireless Go, but as I've said in the past, recent past, the Rode Wireless Go is kind of reaching the end of its life with me because the battery life sucks. And for some reason, the battery life sucks worse on the transmitter than it does on the receiver. And I'm like barely getting an hour out of that transceiver or uh, transmitter, which isn't enough because I mean, I go all over the place. I film all day throughout the day or whatever. It just, I can't do that. And I can't keep having it plugged in all the time. And it's a pain in the ass to have to charge it, which I knew from the beginning when I got it, but it's just such an awesome microphone that, it, you know, it kind of bums me out. I do have to still try to reach out to Rode. I know that, that I've heard that their customer service is excellent. And because I have it warrant, you know, the extra extended warranty or whatever, that maybe they may hook me up and change it out. We'll see. But other than that, you know, I got it all going on. And the way that I have this ZV-1 hooked up, it truly is a run and gunner because other than, you know, the cage that I put on here, it's good to go. I don't have a microphone on it because the internal mic sounds so awesome. I don't have a stabilizer because the active stabilization is so awesome. And with fake ass Cinetone, the colors look great. So it literally is grab it and go with the exception of shit battery life. Those dinky ass little batteries are horrible, but I've gotten around that by having it on this grip. So I unscrewed it this morning and I took those ZDO legs off of it because all the information's on the bottom. And I thought that it was only a 6,000. still hear them for another 30 seconds to a minute even though they're miles out to sea all right anyways uh, I think I was bitching about battery life so yeah the the dinky little batteries suck and I am using this battery grip when I took the ZDO legs off of it thinking that it was only 6,000 milliamps it's actually 6,800 milliamps I have never run out of power regardless of which camera I've used this battery grip with. There's plenty of battery life on this thing to last me as long as I need to last it for at least the day. I'm guessing maybe more, but again, I've never run it down to zero. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a winner. It lasts for a long time. And since I have this contraption all hooked up with the cable plugged into the camera, and as I've noted to at least one other person who had problems, is that you have to put in a fresh battery. If you put a fresh battery that's at the 100% charge into the camera and then hook it up to an external power grip or power bar or whatever, then it will just keep the battery at 100%. But it seems to not work when you put an almost depleted battery in. Seriously. Job with road noise, right? With the windows down. 
So yeah, you gotta put in a 100% charged battery, or, or at least very close. Now, I always put in a fresh battery, and then I, you know, the camera's off, and when I'm getting ready to start filming, I plug in the battery grip so that it just, it's not an issue. Power isn't an issue. So I've also had this battery grip uncharged. Well, at least I hadn't charged it. I maybe used it, decided I wasn't gonna use it, got stressed out about all the crap on my, on my couch. that fast if it were drained it would take a while but because it wasn't drained even after sitting for so long it had most of its power so that's pretty amazing to me that you can have something that you charge you don't use you leave in a drawer for three months you pull it out and it's still good to go so again total winner there that's really all i got for you today i just wanted to uh touch bases on some of this stuff but most importantly I wanted to walk down in the direct sunlight on the boardwalk so that you could see how the colors and everything comes together with audio and all that stuff and I guess it's kind of perfect that the jets are taking off so much because you can see how this camera and the internal mic more importantly handles that kind of noise can't wait to see what it, or not see, but hear what it sounds like when I pull it off under the computer and listen to it. So that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the time down on the boardwalk. It is a beautiful day. Perfect day for me to come down here and get my steps in and walk before I go home and have lunch with my wife and then spend some time doing day job bullshit. My favorite thing to do. All right, so that's it. That's all I got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.